What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. So guys, we have some very important stuff to talk about today because as you should already know, Zometica Corp or ticker symbol ZOM has a massive catalyst coming up very soon on March 30th. So now is the time to address, is this the right time to invest in Zometica before this massive launch on March 30th? What can we expect from this launch and should we invest before or after? And we're going to go through all that in today's video as well as some price targets for this company. Also make sure to stick around until the end of the video because we are going to address Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. This was an extremely popular stock on the channel just a couple weeks ago and we have not done an update in a while. Just in the last week, this stock is up 25% again, so we're gonna run through some numbers, go over some big potential catalysts, and ultimately determine if Sundial Growers is the right investment for you. So definitely do not miss out on that. You're gonna wanna watch the whole way through this video. And now real quick guys, before we get into if Zometica is a buy or not, we have been in this company since 40 cents a share. So if you guys have been part of the channel that long and were able to pick up Zometica at 40 40 cents a share, make sure and leave me a comment below. Because as you can see, we are now up almost 500% on this stock. That is absolutely massive in just a couple of months. And so if you want information like this every single day of the week, all I ask is make sure and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you guys can get updated every time I post a video. The 12,000 of you that have your notifications turned on, you guys know exactly how valuable that is. And also, if you have not already gotten your two free stocks from Weeble, I will leave it in the description as well as pinned in the first comment below. Make sure to open up an account and deposit just $100 and you'll get two stocks valued up to $1,800. And the most important part about the brokerage Weeble is you are able to trade in the pre-market and the post-market, so that gives you access from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. The more time that you have available to trade, the better chance that you can get the best price on your favorite stocks. So definitely do not miss out on that opportunity. Getting into Zometica though, we need to answer the question, should you buy Zometica stock in March? And specifically, should you buy before the launch of Truforma? So if you guys do not know, Zometica did already set this date as March 30th, 2021, that it is expected to commercialize their main product, Truforma. Now we have known this for months and now it is finally coming to reality. So the question is, is it time to buy or not? So let's talk about the device a little bit right here. So Truforma is a diagnostic platform that can tell vets several key pieces of information about the health of their feline and canine patients. And in particular, this machine can detect a pet's level of cortisol, thyroid stimulating hormone, and free T4. And the important part about this machine is the vet is able to easily pop the test into the device and it will deliver a readout shortly after. This is completely different from traditional testing. You usually have to send this out to the lab and you will get results within the next few weeks. Trueforma is making this possible to do on the spot. And that is where the true innovation of this company is. There is no need to go to labs for results anymore when you can do it all from a toaster sized device on the counter in a doctor's office. And this is important because being able to not send these tests out to labs that could take potentially weeks to come back, the practitioners are able to make decisions about patients care much faster, which obviously could lead to better outcomes. So the convenience and innovation of this product Trueforma is what is highly appealing about this company and could potentially drive substantial revenue growth for Zometica. So this says after it launches in March, sales will slowly ramp up through the end of the year. And in the meantime, Zometica will develop and release new tests that are compatible with the machine, which will expand its capabilities to veterinarians. And another big thing that this product could change is currently Zometica is not a profitable company, obviously because they don't even have one product on the market yet. But once this product is officially on the market and does start generating revenue, that is going to change very quickly. But of course, that does not mean it will. There are major problems with this company that could be quite concerning to investors. In the first problem is, is this a buy the rumor, sell the news kind of stock? As we saw with CCIV and Lucid Motors merger, that stock ran up from $10 a share all the way up to over $60 a share just based off of a rumor. Then we saw once that merger was officially confirmed, traders and and investors sold the news and that stock dropped all the way down to $20 a share last week. So could we see the same for Zometica? I think it is definitely a possibility. There is a ton of hype in this company right now. A ton of investors are interested in this launch and it also has a lot of Reddit and 
Wall Street bets hype surrounded by it. And that could very well lead to a big pump up before the launch and then a sell as soon as the product is on the market. So that is the first concern that you definitely have to be careful of. Do not invest in this company for short term gains because you could very well be caught holding the bag. If you invest in this company now, you need to believe in them for the long term, and that is a question only you can answer. Now the second concern, and obviously the biggest reason that investors may want to avoid investing in Zometica right now, is that the market may have already priced in the impact of the launch of Trueforma. Like I said, there's been a lot of hype leading up to this launch over the last few months, and maybe all of that is already priced into the market, and we won't see much of a jump once the product is officially launched. And the last risk here is the most important to me and I do think it should be the most important for long-term investors and that is that true forma could be a complete flop. If veterinarians can't afford this device or they find it to be ineffective or inefficient, then they're not going to buy the device. Right now, they already have techniques for this stuff. Trueforma has to come out and make things completely different for these veterinarians, save them time by getting faster results, and also be a very efficient product that is also very effective. So that is one big thing to consider. Obviously, this product has not launched yet and we have no idea how it's going to perform once it is officially on the market. Nevertheless, though, once the product is on the market and if it does have a huge impact and start creating ridiculous amounts of revenue the stock price is going to surge so therefore you have to make that decision do you invest now and take the risk that this product could be a complete flop or do you just wait and see how the product performs and then maybe get in it at a later date obviously only you can decide that and i want you to keep these three downsides in the back of your mind when deciding if you want to invest in zometica now let's look at a couple price targets here to determine what other people are thinking about this stock so in this article, it says assigning a reasonable 15x sales multiple and 10% of the market. Investors place Mark Hake recently laid out the case for Zom reaching as much as $3.61 per share. After their recent stock offerings, they have raised over $170 million and that now brings their net cash position to more than $275 million. That cash is going to be able to last this company through 2023. So that means Zometica will be able to continue to fund operations create sales for true format and also work on their other products because if you guys don't already know this is not Zometica's only product they have lots of other products on the pipeline that they are currently working on so having this cash to fund them through 2023 is a very good sign for investors because that should mean there shouldn't be any more stock offerings which obviously means the shares won't be diluted and so with all that said, this article says, moreover, the purchase and assumed risk is well supported by a conservative measured move out of the cup, which could land Zometica shares in between five to six dollars a share within the next 12 to 18 months. And obviously at six dollars a share, that would be an over 100% increase from where the stock price sits today. That is obviously not the 400% that we are already up on the company, but nevertheless, 100% is a very good return on your investment. And I will tell you, there are other investors, specifically retail investors, that are a lot more bullish on this company. As you can see here from Stock Twits, this person says that Zom will break the upper trend line around $5 next week and then is on its way to squeezing to double digits. That means this person is predicting at $10 a share or more. So, do I think that is going to happen if we focus on fundamentals and more or less reality? The answer is no, I do not think that's going to happen, at least in the relatively short term. I tend to agree strongly with this person's answer. He says that anybody who thinks this is going to be a $10 stock upon the release date is going to be disappointed. They say this is a long term hold and we need to hold until numerous quarters slash years to reap the benefits of true forma via the revenue that gets generated from the commercialization. And while we are holding and watching revenues increase from true forma, Zom will also be launching their other products, which obviously leads to major catalyst. You can believe if true forma is successful, the next time that Zom does announce a release date for their product, that is going to send their stock skyrocketing because investors will already know that this company releases quality products. So obviously you should not listen to anybody and you should do your own research first these are just people on stock twits and should only be a small piece of your overall investing decision nevertheless though my point of view is i agree with this person if we focus on the fundamentals of the company i think that zom is a long-term play and if zom is successful in the launch of trueforma and starts generating a good amount of revenue as well as working on their next products then i do think ten dollars a share could be reasonable within quarters and years to come 
So guys, before we get into Sundial Growers, I want to know what you think about Zometica. Do you think this company is worth investing in? And what kind of impact do you think this launch will have on the market in the short and long term? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now, lastly here, we're going to talk about Sundial Growers real quick here, and that is ticker symbol SNDL. This stock is up 25% in the last five days, and I'm going to show you why as well as what news and catalyst we can expect from this company. And so the reason that they are up and a lot of the reason that the overall MJ industry is up is because of this article right here. Mexico's Congress approved the landmark cannabis bill which basically decriminalizes cannabis for recreational, medical, and scientific uses. Obviously, this is a big step for all companies in the cannabis industry. Nevertheless, though, I do not see this affecting Sundial growers specifically unless they happen to have a partnership with a company in Mexico. And up to this point, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I do not believe they do. So the one big catalyst that could be coming up for Sundial growers in the near future is are they planning a deal to acquire another company. And this says one company that cannabis investors should keep a close eye on is Sundial Growers because in their most recent earnings report, they dropped a small but significant hint saying that they could be a buyer or seller in a potential transaction. So this article breaks down is Sundial Growers worth $4 a share and they break it down completely on if they would acquire a company. So they say one way to value Sundial is price to sales ratio. They had net revenue of $47.1 million and they have a two. $2.35 billion market cap. This makes them trade at a 47 times current sales. Now, however, if they use the massive amount of cash on their balance sheet to acquire a smaller company that is trading at less of a price to sales ratio, they could easily be able to double their analyzed sales virtually overnight. And so in the end, an acquisition like this would immediately close the gap in sales that occurred by abandoning their wholesale model. That could be worth one to $2 a share to investors, which could take their share price from $1.40 a share all the way up to $3 or $4 as a result. Now, obviously, this is speculation. Although they are hinting towards acquiring a company or a deal of some sort, we have nothing to confirm that yet. Now, the other catalyst that could send Sundial Growers up in the short term is this right here. Will Democrats keep their promise to decriminalize MJ? And that is a big deal because although Sundial is a Canadian-based company, they are not based here in the US, and even though legalization in the United States would really not have a direct impact on them whatsoever, nevertheless, it would have a massive impact on them just due to hype. And I think just about any cannabis stock you would invest in would see a price increase. But the big question is, will this decriminalization happen? Obviously, President Biden said during his campaign that he would reschedule the drug so it's not illegal, but he hasn't done it yet. And to my knowledge, we haven't heard any updates on this. Nevertheless, though, those are two catalysts to keep an eye out for for Sundial Growers, decriminalization in the United States, and also a potential acquisition. One of those or both of those could send this stock anywhere from $3 to $5 a share relatively quickly. Anyways though, just a quick update on SNDL. That is all I have for today's video guys. Let me know what you think about Sundial Growers and Zometica stock. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.